It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots. Uh, Wax is here. Yeah. Back for another week of the real verses that's happening in these streets. Mm. The vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. Ooh, <laughs> I got one today. You got yeah. another one? Yeah, some lady in my in my building. She came down to the what? gym. <laughs> what? They're giving herself a free like that. The lady in the building just giving out everybody. boosters. Nah, she, she, <laughs> she came down to the gym and then she got on the treadmill. She looked at me and the guy who trains me and, he's, and she's like, uh, just... So I know, like, uh, are you guys vaccinated or not? Like, if not, I'll just leave. You sound just or like something like that, right? Yeah, she's. Just, and then I was yeah. like, I was like, oh no, we're both vaccinated. And then um, she gets on the treadmill and then just starts coughing the whole fucking time she's on the treadmill. <laughs> See, that's the other fucked up shit about this era we in. Why can't I cough? It's other things that make you cough nah, other than stop COVID. Coughing, yeah. Nah, no Go coughing home. right now. Stop! Coughing home. Nah, Don't be coughing out. Well, what do you need to cough for? You know how it breaks? It's flu, it's colds, bronchitis, nah, fam. You, allergies. So. Go to the doctor. <laughs> what you, Go to you do bro if you can't breathe <laughs> breathing is the most simple shit right in out and if that is a struggle for you then you need to be inside Yo, right? you I, need to every time out I'm shit. about to cough it's like I'm about to you know how people run to go to the bathroom like I run to go somewhere to cough because I don't want people to think I you think COVID. everybody judging you then you gotta Duh. scream some shit like oh, I, I just judge you test. just now when you cough me yeah. and you both I was judging the play the whole time I was like did this bitch ask me <laughs> if I'm vaccinated and she just coughing Delta and Lambda all over the Peloton screen I can't even use the goddamn treadmill for 24 hours you're like I just took a COVID test I'm good you like, did oh I did I did actually just take one I gotta take one I take yeah, one every yeah, two days man Dr. Natasha Sandy, baby. Did you get a thing recently? A chemical pill? No, I haven't had a chemical pill in a minute. Skin looks good. Dr. Natasha Sandy, man. I don't know, bro. That could be that Lambda. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? I will say, skin, people are being ridiculous. You saw the shit Jimmy Kimmel said? What'd he say? Damn, I wish we had the audio to play, man. They got it. They got a video of it somewhere. You got it? It was on my feed. Yeah. You saw it? Let's I see didn't it. see it, though. Did, did you but ever lie, though, when people ask what? you? So I lied a couple of times. About people what? say, you got the vaccine. I say, yeah. Just wax, no. Wax, wax. They know you didn't get vaccinated. <laughs> you fit, the, life, you fit the profile sure. of somebody of someone that who did not, not get vaccinated. vaccinated. <laughs> okay, you don't, even use, like, you don't right. even use lotion. <laughs> Why would you get vaccinated? You don't do anything that helps you. I'm going to fuck with Johnson Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Johnson and Johnson. The guy started wearing condoms after he had two kids. Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? About. I got to start wearing condoms now. Wait, what did Jimmy Kimmel listen, say? Listen, listen, listen. I want you to hear it. Uh, I want you to... Maybe I'm misreading it. Okay, I pause, 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 pause. So many things wrong. Okay, first of all, first of all, there's ivermectin for horses, mm -hmm. and there's ivermectin for human beings. Mm -hmm. It won know. a Nobel Peace Prize, really, and it's used for human beings. It's an American drug. It is prescribed by doctors. This is a false story that happened once, uh, like a fake news story that happened once. Rogan said that he took it, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was just like a hit piece on Rogan. Like, look at this guy, what a piece of shit. He's is it possible to overdose though? Like fentanyl? I don't know. I mean, look, if you're taking the horse version, then that's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. why are people taking the horse version? Maybe because every media outlet is calling it the horse medication. So you go out <laughs> and ask for the fucking horse one instead of the human one. That is the one that Rogan has taken and other people has taken as well. All now, I know is ivermectin is my new alias from now on. You call yourself ivermectin? Ivermectin. Mm. Yes. Okay. I like it. I fucks with it. No, I, I oh, think, no, I think people... Bullshit. And then the, the ICU yeah. bed thing is interesting, though. Yeah, I think people just... Explain. Who, who got it. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got vaxxed, and if I got to go to the ICU for the same reason a motherfucker didn't get vaxxed, and I'm the guinea pig, I'm the fucking social experiment for everybody. That's why people mad. I'm in first class. Like, I'm premium. Nah. Yeah, but that's unethical. I think, you, I think honestly, cool. if they find out doctors are doing that, they should take their license away. Oh, I don't yeah. think doctors the human are really life doing is a human life. Yeah, I heard they are. They're not I, prioritizing. No, I heard they're turning people away if you're not yeah. vaccinated, which is insane. No, 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 no. no, yes. no, no, no. That's illegal. You have to help That's people. what I thought. Yeah. I'm just saying, don't I deserve a little something as as a, as a the hero? No, because no. the last time I checked, today actually, New York City, all 62 counties are in the red <laughs> in New York. And they said everybody vaccinated or unvaccinated should wear a mask because... You, you still, still get away. it and you still transmit it to people. Uh -huh. 
The only reason why y'all mad, like this guy right here just pissed off that we didn't get vaxxed because he got it. He like, man, fuck that. Something happened to me. Y'all ain't got it. it, it he it, mad it, as everything, hell. Everything is a little pushy. Pushy don't work, guys. Yeah, what come on, mean? man. Pushy yeah. don't work. You got to make it cool. Yeah. Like if you make it, it, it should be the opposite. Like if it was like, remember back in the day, like when there were no vaccines and then people were like, yo, how do I get that shit? Yeah. I'm going to go down yeah. to like people going to like, like the hood because they know black people weren't going to get it. And mm -hmm. there was all these white people driving fucking Bentleys down to like watch. <laughs> <laughs> just lined up to see if there's any vaccines. Oh, his voice is. It's true. just saw these nice ass cars pulling up. What the fuck are these guys doing here? Yeah, wow. <laughs> All greens and watts was fucking vacant. Yeah, yo, we pop what's, what's going on? Yo, it's popping in there. You're getting the vax. Yo, we're getting these shots. Yo. Yeah, man. And, 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 and they should have acted like they were so do commercial. many. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Yeah, they, they, they had too many at first. They should have acted like it was always not so hard. It was too hard to get. Gotta be like they had, they had all, everybody can get it. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, I want that and shit. They we're just being too pushy. We'll give you tacos for it. We'll give you weed for it. We'll pay you to get yeah. it. You never like, give us nothing. You never That's give what us I'm nothing. Saying. All of a sudden, you're giving me free Ben and Jerry's. There's no way. I get that. Now, Come mind on, you, man. I've never lived through a pandemic. Or I guess we kind of did. With, well, you know, we didn't kind of. We did with the swine flu. But for whatever reason, it didn't cause the hysteria that this did. Swine flu was infected 62 million people. Just in America, killed 12,000. Hospitalized yeah, a quarter bro. million. Did they That's have a vaccine like, for it? Compared to this, bro. Like, this is... <laughs> 600,000 people died from this shit. Yeah, wow. uh, allegedly. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Come on. Conspiracy <laughs> shot. Conspiracy <laughs> shot. I'm not saying it wasn't 200. <laughs> Yo, just, he really just, hasn't gotten it yet. Uh, you got to believe that you're just immune or something. Nah, I'm hard-headed. It's not even that I'm hard-headed. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Here's the thing. I'm going to get it. And it's, but I'm going to get it when I fucking want to get it. I would have oh. got it already if people stopped being so fucking yeah. pushy. The vaccine so or the down. virus? The vaccine. Oh, that's what I I'm might saying. Have, no, I think I had the virus. I think I had you it. You did? I think I had it uh, last year when we all came back from Angola because literally every, it, it was so, everybody was sick. And now that I, now that we know more about the symptoms and everything, mm -hmm. it, I'm like, everybody had COVID. But were you sick? Yeah, hell yeah. And every When I say everybody was sick, everybody in the house, except for the kids, was sick. Like everybody, mm, my, that makes sense. Everybody, like everybody that was in on that Angola trip with us was sick. Everybody, mm. and I got and I, I didn't get over uh, my cough till like late February. Huh. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a probably I'm a probably get the vaccine. You know what I mean? But I but people are very they, they're being very pushy about it. Bro. Who is yeah. who is? What you mean? Who is? I'm just saying. Who, who is Work? CDC? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the media? <laughs> everybody, man. They wild and they scare me. That's what I'm saying. Why? It's like, even it's like now he scared me even more. It's like when you're trying to surprise your girl, but you keep talking about the place that you're going. Oh yeah, yeah. fuck that. You, you know, fucked what it mean? Up. You I fucked can it up. surprise my girl for shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Once I got some shit, yo, I was telling her shit that I'm gonna get for her. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, like before I even get yo, it, like, yo, I'm gonna yo. do this. Like I was yeah. so excited. I actually had one thoughtful thing pass through my brain. Bro, I need to share it. Let me tell you something. My wife turns forty this year, and I'm planning something for her. And my stupid ass is talking to her because I'm mean, that's my best friend. So yeah, you just yeah, yeah. it's just a habit. Yeah, you got so it. So I'm just it. like, yeah, you know, such and such and such. She's like, why is such and such and such and such doing what? And I'm like, I just sit there stupid, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm <be> like, huh? <laughs> what happened? I'm, like, I'm tired. Yo, I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> but that's true, right? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> why can't we surprise our girls, man? I'm not good at it, and I forget. Nah, I get the days and days. Word is born. I just get yeah. too excited. I'm like, oh, I can make her feel good. And, and I really need her to help me do mood. everything. Huh? You know what I'm saying? I really need her to help me do everything. Oh yeah, so you need help. You need her to help you surprise her. Exactly. That's why you got to get yeah. in good with her friends. You got to know who her friends are. But you do, you know, I Mandy. Do, yeah, yeah man, they, they, you let the best friend handle everything and just shut the fuck up. Mm. Okay. I want to shut the fuck up, but it's hard. Like you it's said, it's definitely hard, especially if you're trying to do a surprise and then you think she know because she'll be like. You know what I want to do on my birthday? I'm like, what the fuck you mean? What, what you, you want to do? do? <laughs> <laughs> I spent all this fucking money to do this, this shit. shit for months. Yo, our boy, you know Mark, the white dude with the fat ass. Of course we know Mark. Okay, Mark. How can you forget him? Of course. Dreamy. How can we forget that? That's dreamy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, Mark does it. His his wife is on Pinterest. You know that at Pinterest where mm -hmm. girls basically like pin all the shit that they like. Oh, so he secretly follows her on Pinterest. 
and then finds all the shit that she likes for the crib, oh, shit hilarious. that she wants to wear. Smart though. Right? She do that for Amazon Smart. then, because cool. she's always on Amazon. Except you find out the shit that she got in her cart, but she hasn't Ooh. bought. You go in there and it's like, oh, you actually wanted this? Ooh. Bang. Smart guy. Pinterest is this cheat code, huh? I, I, these kids you, you know everything that. now, bro. Put that. Don't, we don't, have to work don't hard. put that out there. Don't we put that out there. We have to listen to conversations. But you supposed to, you're supposed to tell us that yeah, off the show. Don't right. tell my bad, my bad. My I didn't even know Pinterest was a social media app. Say what? I didn't know Pinterest was a social media app. It is social media, isn't it? I yeah. think Zuckerberg. I thought it was it. like Google. Shit, I don't know what the fuck mm. it is. You do? Yeah. Can you buy things from Google? Not on yeah. Board. Yeah, you can't. Pinterest, Pinterest works. Mm. Smart. So that's a vibe. Listen, these kids hacked everything. They know how to be thoughtful. Like back in the day, we had to learn how to be thoughtful. We had to like listen to you for a year, like, and then we had to sit there by ourselves while we we're taking shit for an hour and be like, "Yo, what is she like?" Nah, I've always yeah. been thoughtful, Thoughts? bro. I've always been thoughtful. I'm not gonna lie. I've always had a little drink in me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. Because yeah. you gotta think, we grew up on writing letters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Aaliyah told you to write oh. a four page letter, seal it with a kiss. Or you write the, "Do you want to yeah. go with me?" Yes, no, maybe. Black y'all used to be fire with letters because that's all I had. Yeah, I, I ain't had no money. I can't spell. Yeah. I had no shit. car. I got money too quick. Yes, yeah, even like when you was young. I mean, I wasn't. I'm talking broke, about a bro. kid, bro. Like oh, a kid. No, no, kid. Kid. Nah, 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 nah. I get her teddy bear. Some shit. Writing Ooh, is, is teddy a teddy bears used to be fire, bro. I remember the first girl I ever made out with, bro. I bought her chocolates, teddy bears, yeah. and a rose. Ooh. Sorry. Your boy was getting Ooh. tongue that certified night. lover boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 How old were you then? What? Yo, relax. <laughs> Did Taylor just break the chair? <laughs> no, Taylor. <laughs> Come oh, on, Taylor. Up. What chill happened? out, yo. You you thirsty? Chill out. That's Al's director <laughs> chair. Thirsty? This guy is so <laughs> crazy. That's Al's director chair. You got to chill the fuck out. <laughs> yo. <laughs> this guy is crazy, yo, man. Look at, look this, look this guy is crazy. Face, bro. He's just terrible. He's this guy is crazy, <laughs> yo. <laughs> he like, bro, I'm too close to her for you to be saying that. <laughs> Get your balance right, T. This guy is crazy. What, you going to ask her her age next? Yo, Jesus on, Christ. Nah. God 40. damn, bro. This guy is crazy. But now I always had like a, 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 a streak in me where I was just like very thoughtful, man. Really? Because I, I was broke. Yeah. Yo, when you broke, you come up with some amazing, 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 amazing that ideas. That is true. That that's is why, true. That's why you got to keep the essence of brokenness with the money. I know, but this is just so hard when you realize that like a hmm. gift that's expensive is so much easier. There's way less time. But the thoughtfulness is the no, no, shit, no. The bro. thoughtfulness stays with them. It's way more impactful. Mm -hmm. But if you want to look for like efficiency in time, I'm not proud of this. Yeah. But like, the lit, the longer I wait to get my girl a gift, the more mm. expensive that shit gets. Oh. If I plan a gift for her a month in advance, mm -hmm. I'll get something that's like exactly what she wants. She loves. Yeah. It's thoughtful card. If it's three days before. And I'm scrambling. <laughs> your voice day. is fucked. Oh, oh, your yeah. voice. I gotta call yeah. the account. Yo, open up the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't let this it's shit always hit. last minute though. Yeah, last minute's bad. Yeah. I don't know why we do that. It's so dumb. Because we gotta make up for how unthoughtful the gift is mm. with how expensive it is. Cause you know what I mean? And then it depends what kind of taste your woman got. Your woman might not even want that expensive she, yeah, shit. She don't even want that shit. She might not even want it. Like, why you give me this? And but the way New Ooh. York. The way, New, hey, the way New York set up right now, I wouldn't buy my woman nothing expensive. New York yeah, is nuts. Unemployment she, she's on is over. Flashlights and fucking mace. Oh, you, this motherfucker. Yeah, that's what that's what she really needs. Bro, about to get, get real, huh? Uh, about to. Yeah, it's already being this real. This shit is disgusting out here. You, you ain't seen put a dude, chain on and all that type of shit. Dude in Brooklyn nice. dressed up like a, a a Hasidic Jew. And you know, the video is so crazy. He dressed up like an Hasidic Jew. He's acting like he's in the hood of his car, like under the engine, right? And he's working. Guy comes out. Guy gets in his truck, dude just runs up behind him, bow, 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 smokes him, jumps in like a Nissan Sentra or Maxima and just drives off, puts the hood of the car down and just drives off. Doesn't want anything from the guy? He didn't, didn't do nothing, it. just a straight. Probably was a hit. Probably was a hit. Probably got paid yeah. to do a hit. Wow. Saw this other video in the Bronx just now. They just made the guy How run everything. Surprising though. Pick your sneakers, give me your watch, give me everything. Like, yo, it's New York I is saw bad. this in, Dove showed me a video in Melrose, right there on Melrose, like the shopping district in Melrose. We're mm -hmm. talking about like a nice area in LA. These people are just at a cafe outside eating and two dudes walk up with pistols, pull them out. Take all their shit, take all the bags, right? Walk right the fuck off. Listen, yo, Duval, Duval got hit up right out here too. Yeah, yeah but that was up. way before PPP and way before COVID. That, that was years ago. All in PPP loans and all that stuff is gone. Unemployment now. gone. Spent that, they spent that money up. 
People mm. starving. Strip clubs. I wouldn't buy my girl cars. nothing nice. I don't want to wear nothing nice. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm getting out the Really? Right you man stay out the way. Yeah. It's bad out here you right think? now. Man, yes. it's too much. It's like you either got it or you didn't got it. And it shit. don't matter what race you are. They coming for it. If, hey, it's oh, about it's the right. haves and the have nots right now. Period. Huh. That's it. Well, maybe people get back to work. They need to. That's no, because for real, there's so I'm many restaurants you. that couldn't open because they don't Listen, have enough man, employees. They in a the mode of not working. Ah, so they're they in a mode of scamming. They, they right. learned how to survive uh, without work. That's right. People think yeah. that's a myth. And that's that's fucked really up. true. I got a homeboy. Um, salute to my dude. I don't want to say his name because I don't know if I'm gonna put his business out there like that. But he yeah, owns, maybe not if it's illegal. No, it's not illegal. But he owns a bunch of franchises. He owns a bunch of uh, uh, a restaurant that everybody knows. And he was saying like, yo, he can't even get people to come back to work because everybody's so busy collecting unemployment. Exactly. Yeah. So now that unemployment is cut off, maybe people will go back to work. Go nah. get that ten dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, whoever it's at, don't and don't be it. too proud mm. to work at a fucking McDonald's or a, a, a I Buffalo Wild work. Wings. Work at a Buffalo Wild Wings, but you weren't too proud to accept money from the government. <laughs> that shit makes no sense. Because right? I get to like, sleep late, you get to smoke, I get to buy weed from the government, government buy me weed and all that type of shit. They already used to know how to survive without jobs. I, I wonder if you practice bad habits like that, can you even get back in the mode? You can't. Like after a year and change and not, not working out. Yeah. So hard to get back. That first day at work, I quit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's why your stomach goes like that? You bugging. I'm early. Yo, yesterday, Jazz, salute to Jazz, man. Jazz said the funniest Jeez. shit. Jazz said, <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, our homegirl Jazz from New Orleans. Jazz, look at Wax and Jazz said, he got a big ass stomach on the low. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> like, what? No, she said when well, you're not looking. Yeah, when you're not looking. This is what she said. Anything. He got a big ass stomach when you're not looking. So that means when he when people looking, wax sucks it, it in. <laughs> <laughs> she said that because I was eating a bunch of gummies and I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I'm wilding. Crafty service always do that to me. Oh, uh, craft service? Sucks. Bro. It's a stupid idea. Who Tell people what craft service is. Okay, so for shows, obviously, I'm assuming that you guys are doing this for your show. Yep. So yes. You're filming a TV show or anything like that where people aren't set for 10, 12 hours a day. Yes. They just have a section where there's a few tables and they just have it full of food, sweets, candy, chocolate. All the worst stuff in the meal, world. All the worst stuff. And it's just right there and accessible. And if anybody's ever uh, been around a TV set, you know it's the most boring thing on the fucking planet. You just sit. Hurry up and wait. Oh, exactly. Literally. Hurry up and wait. So you just stand there all day. So I'm like, should I stand here and not have a Hershey's? Or should I just stand here and Kit have Kats. a Hershey's? Or a gummy bear? Or a Sour Patch Kids? And it's a bad idea because if you film in a show for a few months, you will gain weight. Just by looking at just it. Just by oh. being around it, bro. Yeah, just by looking at the shit. I'm and like, you work 12 fuck? fucking hours a lot of times, so it's not like you're working out. You need yeah. some type of something, man. Yeah. And that's the point. Like, you're just, you're just bored. Yeah, that's literally what it is. So pick up a book, read a book, drink some water. That's the other thing too. When All you're hungry, you a lot of times you're thirsty. Do. Yeah, I heard you know that. what I mean. Just yeah. drink water. Like just water. drink water. I if you, water. if you actually drink the amount of water you're supposed to drink during the day, you won't get hungry like Bro, that. Bro, if yeah, I start reading, I probably get more hungry. What? You know how much energy that's gonna take for me? For reading? <laughs> yeah, you tell yeah, me to read a book. Turning the pages, shit, keeping a book on your lap. On, actually, you have to pay attention. That's not energy. I'll be hungry as hell. What do we think of Drake's album? <laughs> not, not entertaining. Man. <laughs> what, do we think, what do we think of Drake's album, guys? Yo, can I? I gotta say something. Not set on flagrant. I understand Kanye's now a genius now. Okay, break it down. Um, so we were in OKC. We were doing shows, and after the final show on Saturday, we just started playing some Kanye. And some Drake. And we're just going back and forth with CLB and then Donda. Okay. Right? One song for one song. And the production on Kanye is so superior. That's absolutely. Absolutely. To yeah. anything else. And then we started comparing it just to other songs. And you play a Kanye song versus any other song of the same time period. Mm -hmm. It's just in another fucking galaxy, That's right? What he does. And I never understood that because I thought oh, producing music was easy. I'll be honest. I, I'm ignorant. I thought it was just like you get a fucking keyboard and you set a couple of things. It's easy. It's nothing, <laughs> right? I didn't realize that what he was doing was super fucking innovative and different. So now I understand why he believes he's so great because he's like, look how different what I'm doing is from what everyone else is doing. And then when I do it, they all start doing it. I am a great innovator. Kanye West is a musical genius. It's he, not even, it's not, that's never up for the I get it. And there's no doubt. I always thought he was a great producer, but I didn't realize how stark a difference there was. I'm going to tell you the one you should listen to. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Oh, dude, we, we started going through everything. I listened to that this weekend. I was like, yo, this is one of the greatest albums of mm. all time. Forget mm. rap. Just yep. like 
everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to Donda and I'm realizing like Donda has higher highs. CLB is more consistent. So Donda will go with these like super like off the grid. Off the grid. Um, Jesus Lord. Jesus Lord. Jail. Jail. And Jail Part 2. Like both of them are yep, fire. Yep. And um, the joint with Roddy Rich. Yeah. That's off the grid. I'm, I'm bugging. That's off, well, the, Roddy, that off the grid. No, no. Uh, not off the grid? Cardi's I think on off the grid. I don't remember. Uh, but but, but the, so the Roddy, Roddy Rich, Rich one is good. So there's a few that are super high, and then there's a few like there's a bunch that are like are like regular like mids or just even misses completely. But Drake's is consistent all the way through. That's Drake. It's consistent all the way through. It's like you know maybe seven and a half, eight all the way through, and but it doesn't reach the fucking high. Like I don't feel compelled to listen to a song on the album. I'm just being honest, and I think his bars are way better than Kanye. Like I think Kanye is, is like mediocre to bad at rapping. And I think Drake is unbelievable at rapping. Like I think Jake is Drake is on Jay Z's level of rap. I'm not gonna go that far, yeah. but, but Drake I, should I, rap his ass off. But yeah. let me let me just say why I say that. I say that because like we were and we were listening to things back and forth. We were listening to a lot of Watch the Throne. We were listening to I think when Kanye raps about his frustration with women, it's the authentic self. Yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah, me, yeah. I'm always looking for authentic self in comedy, in music, whatever it is. When he raps about his frustrations with women, you actually feel like, oh, this is who he is, and the lines make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else, he's trying to like put on an identity and like pretend to be someone. And then when he raps about it, the lines don't even make sense. Like we we're watching what watch I think it was Watch the Throne. We go, I'm, I'm beasting off the Riesling. And it's like, it sounds good. And then you think about it, you're like, Ain't nobody want to get fucking shit faced off of white wine. Well, here's the thing. Like, and, and, and no, yeah, yeah, it's just corny. And, and like, nobody says beasting when they're drunk. I'm beastie right now. Or do they? I don't know. I don't, I've never heard maybe. that saying before. I, no, I haven't. So I'm like, I'm looking at all these things and I'm like, oh, the, a lot of these lines are corny because he's pretending to have this persona. Is he an activist? Oh, no. Is he a man of God? You know, is he a rock? Well, he doesn't like, really write either, though. Well, there you go. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, you're yeah. not writing from that from that space, right? When you listen to Jay-Z say a bar and Drake has this ability too, they say something that sticks with you and it's fucking aspirational, yeah. but it's real. Like, yeah. uh, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Business you say yeah. that shit and you perk up a little bit. Oh, I would like to be that. Let yeah. me handle my business. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah, certain yeah. things that are just so authentic. And Wayne had this as well. We were going back and listening to like Wayne when he was in a pocket and it was like, oh, there were certain lines where you're just like, holy shit, this is something I would like to experience. I would like to feel. And I think Drake has that ability. So when you look at just like mm. bars on the album, I'm like, I find myself wishing I could relate to this or relating to these things. Mm -hmm. With Kanye, I don't find it as much, but that's because I think his communication isn't through bars, it's through music. Through, through production. Yeah. Drake can make you feel something with words, Kanye can make you feel the exact the music, same thing the music. through the production. That's, That's why you know I texted you this weekend because I saw what you said and I, and I I literally was saying the same thing. I, mm -hmm. I would I would love to see Drake and Kanye work more together because mm -hmm. they worked together in the past. That makes sense. And I think Drake should write for Kanye. Yeah. And Kanye should produce for Drake. I would rather I would love to hear right. a Drake album executive produced by Kanye West, and I would love to hear a Kanye album written yeah. by Drake. Yes. Just because I feel like. They both study the fuck out of each other, Say right? Say that thing about that. That You said something really good about that when you were like, uh, Drake knows Kanye. Yeah, Drake knows Kanye intimately because he studied him so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. And and Drake, you know, we all sit around, especially when you got an issue with a person, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So when you got an issue with a person, reason, you start man. really he's digging, he's digging. studying them and picking them apart and yeah. seeing what makes them tick, what drives them, what pisses them off. Like, I feel like Drake could really write from the Kanye perspective that we know now in a real way. And I think mm. Kanye could sit with Drake and tell Drake, Things that he's feeling, and Drake could pin it mm -hmm. the right way. And on for, for, for Kanye's production, man, I think Kanye could bring some different things out of Drake. Like I, I, I think about that Andre three thousand verse, Holy. right? Holy, yeah, which is Holy. I felt that more oh. than anything I heard about either one of them. But oh. it's, it's it's such an amazing expression of the divine masculine, and it's 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 it, it, that verse is what I thought Donda album was gonna be. Should have been as introspective as he was on that verse. You know, dealing with the grief of his his, his mom passing, like I thought. That's Are you what, talking about Kanye's verse? No, or no Dre's no. verse. Okay, you paint the picture for. I, it. I thought yeah. I thought Dre yes. I thought Dre's verse was gonna be what yeah. that whole album was, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But think about what that production, that production, and whatever story Kanye told Andre, bought that verse out. Kanye brings the best out of his feet. That's what I'm saying. And so. you also know you're not gonna waste a verse on a Kanye track. 
because you're experiencing something musically where you're like, I haven't really heard a lot of beats that are this moving. Mm. I want to bring it here. If you're just on some like regular boom, boom, bap shit, you're like, all right, I can mail this yeah. thing in. But you hear a song, like you even on Watch the Throne, you even see Jay like pushing. Yeah. Like, yeah. really? Like, yeah. the, oh, like who gonna stop me? The last yeah. verse of who gonna stop me? Murder yeah. for Excellence. Oh, that's not, is that No, not no, no. The Pablo Picasso, Rothko's, Wilkie's, graduated from the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, like, yeah, 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 it yeah. builds this moment. He different. Oh, yeah, Jay different. But I, I think, I but think. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ups it, the level. Yes, like, that's what I think Ye could do for Drake, because to your point, and this is what I was saying last year when everybody was, you know, jumping down my throat. It's like, Drake is consistently good. Mm. Yeah, we can even say it. Drake is consistently great. But you know what you're going to get every from night. Drake. That's yeah. right. There's, yeah, no, yeah. there's not yeah. another level. Yeah. And but no, I think he could get there, but, but he chooses he not does. to. Sometimes yeah. he does though. Like there are certain songs that like are just memorable and impactful. And I was waiting yeah, for like one or two of those so. on Certified Lover Boy. I was like, get with, there's gonna be two where I'm like, man, I just gotta keep the closest yeah. one for me is the, the timestamp record. The timestamp one? What was that 7 a.m. and Bridal path, bridal path, or something like that. Seventy bridal path was yeah. dope. Yeah. The, uh, the first like, one, champagne, or something like that. Huh? Too sexy or something like that. Ah, you know that's whatever. the one you find interesting. No, I'm just saying because when Envy said that earlier this morning, I already knew exactly what, how Drake flow and how he gonna sound in the words, and I never heard the song before. Mm. And that's what I mean. Like, I, I think Drake is dope, but it's just like, yo, what he does is good. Mm -hmm. Great, and it's always going to be good and great until okay. somebody comes along and shows you better. Let, yeah. Like for the but past me, eleven yeah. years, he hasn't had to do anything but be Drake. Okay, yeah. but let me say this though: I think that his ability to rap, his actual voice, his voice, control, great voice, I, I think is Jay Z level. I know people are going to shit on me for that. I don't care. But maybe there's another generation. We're a little bit older. But maybe the next generation is looking at him in the same way that we looked at Jay Z or Bigger. These guys. So it, of course, just, is, is he yeah, Jordan, I, so I think Jay Z is, is Jordan. Is he LeBron? LeBron. He's nah. LeBron. Oh, yeah, LeBron or Kobe or Drake something like that. Kanye's Kobe. Fair enough. Fair enough. So it's like, uh, but I'm just saying bars. I'm like, I'm looking. Okay. This is as elite okay, as bars. you get. You can't get more elite. Bars. So when you're saying. Why don't they work together? What I th I think Drake needs is just production. production. I don't think yeah. Drake needs but better bars. I don't think you spit better than him. Because even that sexy nah, he song, don't need I bar. heard that beat before. That beat had to be out before. No, we, you heard it when we were younger. There was a song, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too, too sexy, sexy for, for my son. Remember you dancing that in 10th grade? It hurts. <laughs> that, 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 I, I, I actually you did, did that, that inside the talent the, show. The talent show, yeah. <laughs> You're lying. No, you yeah. did yeah. I was too sexy. I was the oh, sexiest guy in school. You want to see Wax? Oh, see, I know. <laughs> you want to see Wax looking too sexy? Chill out. This Hold is, on. I'm going to show y'all Wax looking too old, sexy, man. man. Why? Why? <laughs> this is this supposed to go up for real? <laughs> this is privacy. <laughs> I'm going to put that shit up for This is the wedding. <laughs> Isn't this the wedding? Hey, I, I, chap, chap got us. That is not no goddamn wedding. What Chill is this? out. That's him and his boys forming their band again. That's the fucking... You know I play the music. They like the eight heartbeats. <laughs> they the temptations, bro. The fucking pips. I play the bass. <laughs> yeah, not one of you fits in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> not one. Look how Wack Wack got his shirt hanging out <laughs> because it don't fit. <laughs> what are these shoes? What are these shoes you wearing? The listen, shoes are they, crazy. They, listen, he tried no. to wear Tim's and they wouldn't let. Yeah, him. they won't let me. Listen, everything came. What is this in that I'm two looking hours. at? <laughs> I didn't know what I'm oh, looking no, at. Oh no, we gotta put it up. Let me send it to you, no. Taylor. Taylor, let me. No. I'm gonna send it. To you. How do you do that? What's how do you privacy? Do that? <laughs> Bro, some I don't know how to get this over there, but get that over there because everybody needs to see that. Why? Everybody this needs to privacy, see this. Yo, no, that, bro, the streets that, need that to see this. Privacy. This was on Facebook. Private. No, that that kept Facebook. private. This was on Facebook. Why? I don't you're, know you're why. Trying to the <laughs> I'm trying. You got it. Please put Listen, that before up you so put that up. Look at this. But no, oh, I, the Andre thing. The Andre, yes. But I think I think that you know Kanye just brings the best out of people. And like I said, I think Drake is consistently good. He's consistently great. But we know what to expect from Drake, and what he does is always going to be good enough and great enough until somebody comes along so and shows people LeBron better. Because LeBron always got higher. And you know what I'm saying, like, you and Drake does. LeBron. Bron and Drake got championships, man. Exactly. It's not respect, what? but I, like I said, I know exactly Bron and Drake, how his flow and everything is going to be. Bron and Drake are the same because Bron is the best of his era. 
Yo, he's been he, and he's been he the most do- and he's been the most dominant right. of his era. Now, have have there been other players that have come around? Yes, Steph Curry. We're not gonna sit here and act like Steph Curry yeah. have, is not part of this era, bro. Steph Curry revolutionized the game of basketball. Definitely. Steph Curry got three wings, couple MVPs. Steph is in there, but I'm not just like Kendrick. Yeah, but I'm not building my franchise around the uh, best version of Steph. I'm building my franchise around the best version of LeBron. LeBron I mean, sure. you'd have a lot of success. Yeah. I'm not. You'd have a lot of success now because a lot of things have to fall into place in order for. You know, you to have super success with Steph. You got to get a Clay. You got to get a Draymond. You know what I mean? You got to get a a Steve Kerr to coach. Like it's a lot of things that go into play. Absolutely. LeBron, wherever he goes, yeah, he gonna make you can build a franchise around him. Yeah, same exact thing with Drake. Yeah, and Drake just been that consistently good. Drake got rings. You know what I mean? He's, he's been the, fucking good. At he's good. Rapping, he's man. good at. He's he's, he's, he's beyond good at he's rap. Amazing at rap. Yeah. He's really elite. good at rap. He's an elite, yes. bro. You got to give it up. I, where's that song? That's like song cry. Where's that never change? That's song what I'm saying. Me? I don't. Got, that's what I, I'm saying. I never heard that different. That's break what I'm me. saying. That, but that's what I mean when I say this. Where's the other level? Like, because it's, it's we, people use the word introspective. He does introspective records, but as vulnerable as 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 Drake seems to be. I don't know if we've heard that real vulnerability yeah, that yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know how you feel about fatherhood. What's in your pocket? A weapon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I keep you taking his unemployment seriously. Hey, I, I've been, you, you forget you unemployment. Do I've been doing that. My daddy always said, <laughs> I've been seeing your shoes money. lately. You better take that shit serious, too. <laughs> they take good, his shoes. These are good running shoes. All right. Well, you better run. <laughs> 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 I'm prepared. <laughs> but, like, even on this album, I think Drake's line, Drake got a line, like, I had to fuck a bunch of girls to get a son like you. Yeah. That's how you feel about fatherhood? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. Like, it's a slick line. Yeah. I like but it. I, I want to hear something a little deeper. He you know what I mean? He, he was very deep. It's as deep as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I, I had to get to you <laughs> to make this happen. Yeah, but no, nah, I had to fuck a, a bunch of girls to get a son like you. Like, he was out... He, I, I don't know. Maybe it seems like I'm capping, but like, he was out there. He was out there fucking everybody. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, he yeah. gets, I assume, is what he's saying, is the most beautiful thing that's ever entered his life. So... He's not looking at fucking a bunch of girls as like, yeah, I'm on my whole shit. This is fucked up. He's like, look at this beautiful thing that came from fucking all these. Yeah. Things. And I even heard him. unexpected, right? I even heard him mention therapy on the album. You didn't hear him mention No, therapy. I did. Oh, yeah. He yeah. did. He mentioned, he mentioned therapy on the album. And I'm like, yo, I want to hear, I want to hear more of that. Like, I want to hear more about what it feels like to be the, the biggest thing ever from a city, put a city on a map, the the stress that comes with that. Maybe yeah. I don't listen to enough Drake. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, me I think I do, but I haven't really I know I don't. captured that. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. a, it's like a lot of more money, more problems. Sure. <laughs> but what the are brand. the problems? Even when you complain about your friend group, it's yeah. like, bro, if you're complaining about your friend group and you're complaining about all these women, maybe it's you. Mm. <laughs> like, your therapist will tell you that. Yeah, maybe I don't want to hear that from my therapist. Well, it is me. I'm tired of that shit. <laughs> it's him reaching these levels of success and the way that that changes people. Yeah, that's a what I level, assume. The how it changed like, him though? Well, I'm, level, I'm sure you've gone through this. Like, you get more successful, and then all of a sudden you notice that people's energy around you changes, and it's not because they hate you or love you or anything like that. Is they just start to feel uncomfortable around you? You True. haven't changed at all. Right? No, I have. We all but do. Like, like, like yo, fifty cents said it the best. Fifty cents said, "Yo, if you haven't, if you made money and you haven't changed, you haven't made enough." Right. And I don't even think it's just about the money. It's just right. about the opportunities and things you may be doing, man. Like some everybody don't deserve access to your energy. That's yeah, just the truth to yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, you got right. your team. You got a a crew of people that you have around you that you feel comfortable with. Keep yeah. your energy high. You, it That's keeps your energy important. up. Word up. Man. You got to keep the right circle around you, man. Yeah. That is true. I think that's what he's saying. He's got yeah. his crew. He got his crew. And then he's saying the people outside of the crew, they could treat you different. They could want something from you. When you're in a position where you could help people, right, it changes their energy around you. Yeah. It, just, it is just Respect. naturally because everybody's looking for their salvation. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. so you got to be able to like have a strong constitution within that yeah. so that you can keep being the person you are even though you know everybody around you actually wants something from you. Yeah. And that probably gives you anxiety, man. That's probably why your anxiety is going up in a lot of ways through your success because right. you're like, oh shit. And that's and why I changed my phone number. You did? Yes. What you mean? You got I, it. I know. <laughs> yes, you do. What are you talking about? You texted me today. <laughs> I text you all the time. What are you talking number. about? It's a new number? Yeah. The shit still says Charlemagne. Oh, that's what you were saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> is that Neil Brennan hit me. 
<laughs> Neil Brennan hit me and he was like, yo, did Charlotte get a new number? I was like, nah. <laughs> I was, like, no, was, was wondering you, when Neil was talking about like, no, I was wondering you. when Neil was talking. Neil was like, yo, me and Schultz was wondering if you got kidnapped. I'm like, me and Schultz? That's a show every week. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah, because I texted you. I texted you that shit went green. I was like, I don't know. Maybe he's in Aguila or something. Like, <laughs> he's out of the country. He's in the play. Yeah. Salute to my guy, Neil. Neil, Neil uh, shout out to Neil, man. Neil found yeah, God, peace. bro. I know. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca made him find God, bro. I actually want to sit down and talk with him about that because I have mixed feelings. He's in town. We should I have him He's got his show, man. Why you don't bring him on flagrant? I, I told him I want to I want to come yeah, on flavor. He's so flagrant. focused about he this found show. God. That's good. He's Say listening what? to gospel. Ayahuasca made him find God. Mm -hmm. He's listening to based medicine. But just to uh -huh. put a button on the Drake thing, man, and even Kanye, um, I know sometimes it seems like we're overly critical of them. Yeah. But the reason we're overly critical of them because we know they're successful. Mm -hmm. Like they breaking all screaming records and they selling all these records. Both of them have sold a bunch of records. Their yep. status is certified in that department. Yep. So now the only thing we're judging them on is music. Yeah. It's yep. the same thing with Braun every year, right? Like, we're only judging Braun on winning championships. Like, that's literally the bar for Braun yeah. every year. Like, yeah. I, I, I was debating, me and Wayno was having a conversation, and Wayno was like, you know, he was talking about, he was talking about Kendrick. He's like, you're only as good as your last project. So I said, so Kendrick's only as good as, damn, then. Like, you're still on that, you're still on that high. And then he goes, I'm like, and I don't even believe that logic, because if you say you're only yeah. as good as your last whatever, we know LeBron's better than a first round playoff loss. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. that, that logic Is don't make though? no sense. Is he? He's right got to prove he. What do you he's mean? Prove, he could have lost it. He could have lost a step. He could have been getting old. He's still Braun, though. He's, he's I'm saying Bron. he could. And then this year, he's going to prove that he's still Braun. But right now, we're waiting for him to prove it. Yeah, prove but nobody it. nobody does that except for Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know what I mean? Michael Jeffrey Jordan was the only person who got it and didn't stop right. getting it yeah. for six years. Like, everybody has peaks and valleys. Well, but but one, those, year, one year, he didn't. But those guys are always, Four LeBron guys. is still LeBron. Like, nothing is going to stop LeBron James from being LeBron but, James. But can he win the championship again? It don't matter. Why does he got, uh, no, 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 you know you what? The you're right. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because that's what we're doing with Drake and Kanye. Yeah, and you know we what's want, We want up? you to win a championship every time you put an album out. We yep. don't want just a, yep. a, a, a 25 and 10 game. Yeah, yeah exactly. That. We, we want to chip. Greatness. What about the girl that ran? I also think, like, I also think That's fucked up with her. What's that? The girl that ran. Oh, she was doing good all this time. She she got uh, nice place. But she was never there. that fast. We just didn't know anything about track and field. Come on, bro. Why you, you think do you're that, fast, man? <laughs> 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 you know fast. No, but Nah, yeah. She was nah, never shit. supposed to beat the Jamaican girls. She was not going to beat none of those Jamaican women. But she knew Americans that. don't know anything about track and field. So we, when we saw her beating all the Americans in the trials, we're like, oh, she's the best. I know enough to know, even if you look at the time, she's the sixth fastest in the world. You know who the top three are? Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. Right. That's right. That's right. Even with her fastest time, she would have placed fourth. You really still against listen those Jamaican to her about running, bro? You're right. Why are we listening to Taylor about <laughs> running? Sailor. You're right, Taylor. Taylor, you're right. We don't listen to Taylor about running. You got smart. Taylor, we're not listening to you about up running. I made your hamstring. I that made your hamstring yo, that, give up. Yo, that shit traumatizes hamstring Taylor, hamstring bro. Quit. I made your hamstring That shit traumatizes quit. Taylor. Yeah, somebody, got to. Somebody, somebody held that fire to Taylor and she didn't tell us. It's something we ain't yeah. seen. Somebody probably back home in Philly, they probably roasted her, yo. Mm-hmm. I see you on that John, track. John getting dusted on that John. Track coach. I see you on that John <laughs> getting dusted, yo. I see you getting dusted on that John. What happened? This is what happened. What happened was you disrespected me by thinking you could even come close. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. You were disrespectful by thinking that you could beat me. I could beat Shakari Richardson. Yo, don't show. Listen, yo, don't I show up. I don't, your car. don't show up this Schultz's Philly show, yo. I'm telling you, people be walking by you going, zoom. Now they are. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Why do you want? Why you want to fight? Everybody, yo, yo, chill out. Because you lost a race, you want to fight? How about so this? How about this? You catch me, you can fight me. <laughs> 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 Who are we talking Love about? Love you, Taylor. No, you don't. What I do you talking love about? Taylor. <laughs> I do, wow. Damn, Taylor. Wow. Taylor, Yo. we love you. Taylor, if you don't shut Why your you? What, what's up? You blaming Schultz on performance? <laughs> you blame when Schultz got performance enhancement or something? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Taylor, he, I swear know. to God, if you don't say I love you back, it's, we might have to fight. I'm about to, to pay some bills. Taylor didn't ruin the mood. <laughs> Taylor, we might have to fight. <laughs> what happened? Because she lost and she <laughs> saw about it. You so are about salt. it. You're you telling me salt. she went to Ishka Bibbles this weekend. How you gonna win a race at Ishka Bibbles? That's true, yo. 
<laughs> That's a good ass point. Let's pay some bills. All right. Uh, salute to Keeps. Okay, Keeps, man. <sighs> More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. That's facts. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. That's also facts. Keeps fact. provides both. Mm. Okay, Keeps off. Let me ask you a question. Yep. If you was using a hair care product that wasn't FDA-approved and it was working, would you keep using it? Hell yeah. Okay, just want to throw that out there, guys. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Okay, and loosen that grip on your wallet. Keeps is low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions on top of discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's Keeps dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots. Do you want to do the freeze pipe? I feel like I need to pause that. Bro, we got to do the do freeze, freeze pipe. pipe Let bro, me that tell cold you something. Pipe. All right, guys, this show has also been uh, brought to you by the best bongs in the business. If you are smoking anything, okay? I don't care if it's weed. I don't care if it's tobacco. I don't care if it's a mix of both, hash, whatever the fuck you want. You got to do it with a freeze pipe, okay? The worst thing about smoking weed is actually smoking it. The smoke comes out hot. It burns your throat, causes coughing exorcisms, and we all know that the only thing that beats fire is ice. Introduce the freeze pipe, the makers of a unique line of freezable pipes, bubblers, bongs, dab rigs, and more. If you can smoke from it, the freeze pipe makes it. The reason this small American-owned company is doubled in growth every year is because they're dedicated to customer satisfaction. And... Building the smoothest hitting pieces possible. When smoke passes through the frozen glycerin chambers, it instantly is cooled by hundreds of degrees for a bigger, smoother hit. Pop one of these gr glycerin chambers in the freezer for one hour and the results will blow your fucking mind. It's going to change how you smoke forever. It's like putting ice in your bomb if that ice played baseball in the 90s and bought supplements off of Jose Canseco. So visit thefreezepipe.com, okay? That's thefreezepipe.com and see for yourself why the internet can't stop talking about freeze pipe. Your throat and lungs will thank you. Use the code IDIOTS and you save 15% off your first order. Remember, visit the freezepipe.com that's t h e f r e e z e p i p e.com use the promo code idiots and save 15% off your first order now let's get back to the show all right time for some church announcements yeah show us what we got uh the infamous tour we back this weekend detroit and milwaukee um I'll see y'all there, man. It's been absolutely crazy. Just released a nice little like tour video highlight on YouTube. People kind of buzzing off that, man. And then uh, really excited for the San Diego the weekend after that. And then the special taping out there in Austin, Texas. Y'all can go get some tickets for uh, those shows at theandrewshows.com and more. We we added a bunch more shows. Uh, San Francisco, we had another one. Chicago, we had another one. D.C., we had another one. And... Um, very soon, another uh, another cool announcement, man. That I'm that I'm very excited about. Also, fashion season three of fashion is officially up. When you listen to this podcast. Go get it out. Get it while supplies last. You know the fashion goes quick, so make sure you got that. We even got something for the ladies, okay? okay. This is heavy season. We're all about the heavies. So if you got the heavies or the lighties, <laughs> it don't matter, yeah. okay? Make sure you get that heavies merch, all made in North Korea. Uh, so yeah, go get that. Right. Wax, what you got? Yes, sir. I got to go to whoswax.net. Um, I got the gummies. And I also got the rush charges I'm putting on there, man. These I need a charger, yo. Yo, look at Oh, you need a charger right now? Put that on there. Let me see. Let's, uh, mm. Play it on there. You know what I'm saying? Get you right. Okay. Got the rush charges. And I got it's the not gummies. <laughs> um, is uh, okay. whoswax.net. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and make that happen. And um, yeah, brilliant idiots. I mean, <laughs> Bully yeah. and the Beast. Yeah, just cut that. Y'all got Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. The <laughs> that was one of the most amazing things. Yeah. Yo, I forgot where I was at. Idiots. Yeah, I every forgot week. where I was at. Right here, we already listening to it. <laughs> Lord yeah, Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. And on uh, Monday, get that Patreon. We got some new stuff up there we put up there. So y'all go holler at us. Um, Same old, same old, man. State of emergency. How to win in the country we built out now. Anita Cop uh, about Tamika Mallory, Anita Kopak Shallow Waters out now. Uh TV show starts next Friday, man. 
Next hey, Friday, Comedy early. Central, The God's Honest Truth, 10 p.m. Um, join us. Uh, and oh, on 1010, man, 1010, I announced today that uh, I'm launching, well, not launching, but uh, I'm having my first ever mental wealth expo. Like, you all been to health expos before, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you go to like a, a health expo and it's all about physical health and things that are going on, you know, with people, you know, physically, but this is a mental wealth so expo. Fast. And it's going to be a day of mental health and healing education. It's going to be on Whoa. World Mental Health Day on 1010 at the Marriott Marquis Times Square, oh, shit. New York. Okay, oh, you can oh. go to mentalwealthexpo.com for more information on that, man. It's going to be just a great day of like, you know, we got uh, like like Debbie Brown's going to do her podcast live. Uh, Michelle Williams, uh, Dropping Gems. Michelle Williams checking in. She's going to do her podcast live, which is called Checking In. I got my man Jason Wilson there. Uh, Jay Barnett's going to be there. Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. Um, Angela Rye is actually going to be in conversation with Resma Minikim. If you haven't read My Grandmother's Hands, amazing book that discusses uh, racial trauma in America from the black perspective and white perspective. It's incredible. So they'll be in conversation about that book. My man David McCullough, uh, who has the mental health gym Inception in Farmington, Michigan, he'll be there. And it's from 11 to 4 on 1010, and it's free to the public. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like these information and these resources, you can't charge for anything like this. You know what I mean? So for, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., World Mental Health Day is free. It's open to the public. Marriott, Marquis, Times Square, New York. It's going to be a bunch of different rooms that people can go in and out of and learn how to do yoga and meditate. We got rooms about, you know, plant-based medicine and how to heal through food. We got rooms that you can just go in and talk That's about amazing. anxiety and depression. We got rooms for family members who are dealing with you know, a family who's schizophrenic, bipolar, things of that nature. So, 1010, World Mental Health Day, Marriott Marquis, Times Square. And then what happens? Is it like a, there's like a ticket they buy and they have access to everything or like... Yeah, you go to, if you go to, if you go to mentalwealthexpo.com, um, you can sign up, let us know you're coming because it's open to the public. And you also, uh, you, you register to get like exclusive, more more exclusive things when you're on site. But everybody's going to get treated with love. Everybody's going to get treated with respect. Like there's no... Like this is just something like when you when you're doing stuff like this, man, you gotta make it free to the public. Like, why yeah. wouldn't you give this information away? Why would you charge people to, you know, learn more about mental health? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. To learn more about healing. If you truly care about helping people. I, I don't I don't knock nobody who, you know, who 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 charges for stuff like this, but it's just like, you know, for me, I'm like, eh. You know. Yeah, but I, I want to make it free for everybody. I think giving the vaccine. I think I think the tricky thing is like you can want it to be free for everybody, but it, that's if you can afford it. Like, it still oh, absolutely, costs absolutely. money to like, you have to employ the people that are going to work the Get event. Get the venue, like, all of that stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I, absolutely. I, I don't think there's much wrong with like making money off of, let's say, okay. uh, helping people. Well, you get sponsors. Yeah. So yeah, let the, yeah. so the sponsors that want to attach their name to the event, yeah. you let them attach their name to the event and then that way you can take care of the people. You know what exactly. I mean? That's all. That's yeah. it. That's it. I mean, that's a podcast model. That's a definitely ways, the right? podcast. That's every <laughs> model, yeah. by the way. Yeah. But, but I wouldn't yeah. knock it. Like you, you put out a book that uh, you know shine a light on mental health, and that book costs money, but it still helped people. And I'm sure there oh, are absolutely. a lot of people that read that book. They're like, wait a minute, for twenty bucks, I got tens of thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars of like wisdom that really changed my life. That's oh, a yeah. fucking bargain. Listen, like, I think all mental health care professionals should get top dollar. I think all spiritual advisors should get top dollar. I think all sacred purpose should get top dollar. Like. They what they do is great. At least for me, I pay yeah. for what I want, and yeah. I pay for what makes me feel better, yeah. and I pay for what I like. All of those things make me feel better. So it's like whatever. And you, it's pay an you pay for the gym. You, you pay, pay for, for the trainer. gym. Like, That's right. We pay for all these things. That's right. And, I don't know. And when you, I say you, you always give your drunk uncle a beer, you know I'm saying <laughs> he always give you a good word. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah, I understand where I understand he's going. What it's, he's like, saying. it's like it's like you're gonna go grab saying. a beer because you know that after you give him that beer, he's got you know, some wisdom got for you. Words and for that's you, worth baby. the Michelob light or whatever, right? Easy. Uh, Corona. <clears throat> Shut up. Invest in your mental wealth. Man. <laughs> you got some shit, yo. I, I, you might got some shit. I get bronchitis every year. No, no. Jokes, man. Every you year are. I get the same way wax get that cold so every nope. year. Yo, I get some kind of every year. Why, 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 why do you have to do that? Somebody said, that's what? crazy. Me and Schultz ain't even saying nothing. This is the first time saying about your cough. That's crazy. We've been looking at each other. As soon as he says something, you throw me under the bus. A cold, <laughs> a cold sore. You know damn well he gets it monthly, this guy. I see you cold <laughs> sores every month. You're going to say once a year? You're going to lie to me? I ain't getting no cold sores since Myrtle Beach, man. You're a liar. 
You're a liar. If it says Myrtle You're Beach, a liar. when last time I got one? You had one yes, that last year. Where? Right before COVID. Where at? On your mouth. Where? You don't know where. It was right. on the left or right side. Left I don't, left I don't right. remember. He don't know. I didn't look that deep. He's got the shit. exact side. Taylor, you ain't never seen wax with a cold saw? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you happy they wearing mask? You, I mean, that's the only reason you still wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> to cover up that goddamn cold. That shit got me that a shit coming. <laughs> Around this time of year, right after his birthday, that shit Man, come, bro. I ain't listen right to before, y'all. Right, before, I'm okay. right after the third and before Halloween, that shit coming. That's it. That it shit. Even, that that's shit actually good, good timing because you wear a mask for Halloween. That's so you right. Cover that shit. <laughs> that's right. Your cold so <laughs> Your cold is the great pumpkin, bro. That shit is fucking. That shit is listen, rising. It never. I right, listen. Y'all look gonna listen to this nigga. He crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? I had that one cold sore and I regret this shit. Yo, I should have tried, tried to pop it, man. <sighs> Taylor, what else? I, it wasn't really one. I tried to pop a sore up here on my lip. That mean I'm on my fucking, um, on my skin. It wasn't even on my lip. What do you mean? <laughs> it was all the way up there. <laughs> now you coughing. Whoa, See whoa, what I'm saying? Whoa. See what the fuck? Because I ain't got a mask fuck? on. See what the fuck? Nope. <laughs> See what the fuck? All right. Both of y'all got Taylor, that shit. Let's do some shit you won't care about next week. Pull it up. Mark man, off. Man. Sorry, guys. This is going to have to be a short podcast because, you know. Well, we, listen. We busy, bro. People making money. Charlamagne got a show out. And by the way, how much y'all want to hear from us? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. You talk for five days. God damn, it's the you breakfast club. It's flagrant too. It's stand up. Yeah. Okay. The talk show's coming next week. Like, all right. Yeah. No, yeah. I appreciate. God forbid you. they want to listen God to you. God forbid. God forbid. I know they want to do the thing. You know what's so funny? We had you money your whole life. Exactly. <laughs> you know what's so funny? We had this conversation because there's a level of elitism in the podcast game. Ah. There is. There's a level of elitism because yeah. we've had a lot of success for a long time. And, you know, sometimes you don't realize that, like, if you getting 2,000 listens a month on your podcast, you're in the top 3% of podcasts. Is that right? That's a fact. I think that's more indicative of how many podcasts there are. Maybe. You know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe. I probably. There's a lot out of there. Probably. There's a lot probably. of podcasts. It's a lot. Yeah. No, for real. You're, it's a lot. If you're getting a podcast, you're doing, you're doing over 10,000 a month. You're cooking. Advertisers coming. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we spoiled over here. I'm sorry. Don't you talk to an elite podcaster like that? <laughs> yeah, real talk. Right? You seen our numbers? <laughs> Damn, <bro. laughs> What's you that? said what? A oh my god, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> A listener was trying to say, like, oh, oh they're trash anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, that's not according to our numbers, whatever. Ooh. No, that's not true. That, no, that, we got, we, the yeah, I get it, but that's not true, though. You can be trash with big numbers. You could definitely be trash with big numbers. Everybody, I, I, I hate when people use that argument. Like, I hate when people say, like, oh, I sold a bunch of records. So what? The album's what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Or like you had a great stand up, oh, but, but but the ratings were such and such, but the show was whack. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. I did that earlier to somebody because they really did hurt my feelings on the radio. What happened? We were doing slander at the breakfast club and this woman called and <laughs> said, <laughs> she, said <laughs> she said, You need to go to college. You need to sit in somebody's classroom. I'm tired of hearing you on the radio asking questions that everybody knows the answer to. I'm like, what the fuck that got to do with everybody else? If I ask a why. For something, you why can't I ask that? why? Yeah, you know what I'm how saying. How you get offended off that? And she you said, me. "No, because she said to me, have you ever heard yourself?" I don't know why that shit that shit stung me a little bit, right? <laughs> you and get so, back your own medicine. That's literally how you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to her, I did. I flexed on her a little bit. I said. I'm doing better than you. You said that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you were upset, bro. I did. I mean, you don't know what she's doing. I don't. That could be Thea. <laughs> <laughs> It stung a little bit. Like, don't tell me to fucking most. go to college. I don't want to go to no goddamn college. And she was like, college. nobody cares about your honorary degree. Go get a real one. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's that's how that's how like somebody you know. <laughs> who's this hate? Yo, haters will know everything about you, yeah. man. Yeah. That sounds like somebody you know. This is some this is some, oh, this is some wild shit that happened last man. night. I'm at I'm at this comedy club last night. And this this comic, like OG, wildly successful, will remain nameless, but like uh, wildly successful. Right? Shit it on you? Now, he comes up, right? He sees me and a couple of the homies are hanging out. Ricky, you know Ricky. My and, man, Ricky. Uh, Ricky just did his HBO special. Yeah, he did, man. So we got to pump that. We got to have him on here. But um, shouts to Ricky, man. Ricky uh, Velez. Julio, uh, Dan Soda, we're just hanging. 
And this comic comes down, and he sees us all hanging out. He goes, he goes, uh, oh, he goes, uh, all right, you guys just gonna hug all night or something like that? I'm like, ah, come here, man. I'll give you a hug. He's like, older guy, OG, like, white or black? White guy, white guy. I won't mm -hmm. say. It. And, uh, and he goes, he comes over, and I'm like, ah, right, come here, I'll give you a hug. But he comes over, he goes, he goes, he goes, oh, oh, hey, yeah, hey, Mr. Hip Hop, uh, who grew up in the East Village. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, hey, Mr. Hip Hop, I talk hip hop, but I, well, I grew up in the East Village, and uh, my mom's a ballet dancer. And I'm like, Ooh. I'm like, huh. when he said the mom's a ballet dancer thing, I, I just kind of laugh because it's OG. His name's know? Clarence. Yeah. He went to a yeah. private school. He's yeah. got real good parents. So, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just laughing because this is like a real, like, you know, this is yeah, he's out here, right? Like no, a no, guy, no. guy, like yeah, like one yeah, of the goats. Nah, 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 nah. Not but, goat, not goat, but like in goat? success, in success. Okay, sorry for that. And uh, no, nah, it's not time. And uh, he goes in the room, and I'm like talking to boys. I'm like, wait, hold on, was I getting like passive aggression from him, right? And I'm he's so like crazy, you. like I'm in my head. So so he's coming off stage, so I'm just like, nah, I gotta talk to him, right? Like. Cause I'm going up next and he comes off and I'm like, what's up, man? He goes, Hey, yeah. Where'd you go to school? So he tries to do it again. And I just go, and I'm like, uh, how'd you know what my mom did? They gotta study. You gotta pay attention to that shit. You gotta pay attention to that level of hate. That's not regular. Like you just listen to a podcast. You yeah, got my yeah, Instagram yeah, bio. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. went on a deep dive. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Like something triggered you. That's good. It was something bothering. I can tell you what triggered you. What triggered him? Your success. Yes, so in his, he's at home. He's like, what the, the fuck's fuck with this show, guy? Why do people yeah. like him? Let me go see what that is. Yeah, that's he, exactly they, they, what they it is. come up on their road. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I love that. Bro, You're supposed that, to. I love that's that. why you got to have women Make around the haters you. feel pain. That's why, that's why I love the fact that my, my circle is like 90% women. Because <laughs> women will always get the real intel. Mm. I've had women come to me and literally say to me, this person asked, why do people like him so much? <laughs> Like what? Like what? It's what is it? Life. And not in, a, not in a like hating way, but like, what, what's up? What is yeah. it with him? Why do people like like this? Yeah. Why like him yeah. so much? Yeah. And she's like, what do you mean? Like, and they have a real back and forth conversation. Yeah. That's what that dude did to you. Yeah. Was it funny? And I asked him. I saw that the, the the host is bringing me on stage, but I'm just talking to him and like he's giving up for Andrew Schultz. And I, but I'm just like, I need to know like why. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I, I must watch an interview or something like that. And I was like, all right. Have a good day, take bro. That. You, ain't give no, you, you ain't giving no bars you do on stage. Research, bro. You ain't giving no yeah. bars on stage. No, 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 no. This is this is like OG, but you it was like give respect. That, that, like you said, it was one of those things. Like, oh, oh, those guys are are seeing something. Yeah, happen. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's exactly what it is. He, he's triggered by your success. He's sitting Isn't at that home, funny? and he's let me see what the fuck is up with this Isn't show. That funny, bro? Because you know the thing about comedy, which it shouldn't be, but I guess it is. It's always competition. Yeah, like the competition is is it's not linear with y'all. Like, well, I know yeah. it is linear. It's like. The goats are still competing with everybody yeah, that's yeah, here. Yeah, if you're yeah. making noise in yeah. the comedy space, you in the game. Yeah, Chappelle. I mean, maybe not Chappelle. I don't know. Nah, and I was talking to a buddy of mine about it, and he said an interesting thing. It's like they, even though we don't see him is that way, because you might like look up to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of comics, like feel like losers. Like that's why they got into the shit, mm -hmm. and like they could justify where they are when they're like selling tickets. But then when they see like a show that we try to put on, like some like cool, like fun, like we want to make it like some rock star shit, I, and it's selling the same tickets, I think that's where it start to eat away from them a little bit. You know what I mean? You went outside the box and still made it happen. They can't yeah. do it. Well, times change, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. OGs. But it is funny how they'll research. They'll research of the hate. Of course. Yeah. They want to know. They want to... They, they they're, DMs. they're trying to figure out what's in the secret sauce. Mm. That's literally what it is. Mm. They trying to figure out what's in the secret sauce. And guess what? We don't even know. Hmm. We're it's, just being us. It's a secret from us. <laughs> they, they didn't tell us. Like, why I can't even I, read. Why do you think I wake up every day thinking, God, Yeah. because yeah. I don't know how this <laughs> happened. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I knew what I wanted, but Lord have mercy. Well, really, God? Yeah. I deserve for real? <laughs> this was, really? All right. Okay. I mean, don't God keep bless. trying. God bless. No, God never. Might, God might hit Please. them questions and be like, yeah, you I'm right. worthy. <laughs> I, no, I'm worthy. No, nope, I'm guy. worthy. I got to a, a December 2019. I realized now I'm worthy. I'm worthy. And you know what? Even if I, even if you don't necessarily feel like you're all the way worthy, know that God knows you're worthy. Mm -hmm. That's it. And, and you know, He's here for a reason. That's it. And just no things are bigger than you. Like I'm just like I'm 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 walking in my purpose because everything I'm doing is bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Simple like as God that. God guides your steps. Mm -hmm. What we got, Taylor? Oh man, R.I.P. to Michael K. Williams, man. Damn. Oh, God man. damn. God bless oh. the day. I was man. in for Halloween one year. Really? Yeah. Can you do that? I was Omar for Halloween. Oh. 
Yeah, right. I didn't blackface. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I black yeah, yeah. scarred. Right. Where, 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 where? Somebody was scarred. me for one year and they got in trouble. Bl- white guy? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the dress, the tubes, That's super everything. Wild. That could be Amigo, though. Yeah. Rest in peace to Michael K. Williams, man. For yeah, real. Like, that was, yeah, that's wild. That was horrible to hear, man. People be dealing with things that you don't even know. Yeah. Bro, yeah. and that they I don't know what exactly it is, so I don't want to speak on the dead like that, but like there were rumors that it might have been fentanyl. It wasn't they, a rumor, they reported that. Did they say oh, it's yeah. a fact now? Yeah. They reported that they found drug paraphernalia and drugs. They said and, it, it might have been heroin, but there that there was fentanyl in the heroin. Yeah, because they're in they're they're, they're I, I I read this yesterday. They're searching for the dealers. I think well, they've opened up an investigation. For his name, in LA, uh, three comics died. I saw yeah. that. One's in ICU. Uh, that, the one that's in ICU, that's actually uh, nah, like maybe Donnell's I'm, co-host or something no, like I thought that. that was Darius Rucker's ex-wife. Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah, right? Yeah, but I think it was like nice. Donnell's friend too or they or like yeah, was on yeah. Donnell's podcast or something really? like that. Yeah, I, I've never met her, but I knew one of the other guys, Fu, and um, yeah, man, it's crazy. They had a little bit of fentanyl in the batch of Coke that they bought. And then it's just a wrap. They cutting these shit with just So that's the thing. Shit, like, man. you got to be careful. Because if it's happening in New York and it's happening in LA, it could be the same I mean, main I, distributor that's putting that out there. I think that's what happened to Mac Miller, too. Yeah. Right. Yep. God bless the mm-hmm. dead. Mm-hmm. I don't that know, fentanyl man. fentanyl shit is, is a problem, that's man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't, like, I don't you like put fentanyl in weed. I've heard, I've, I've heard that, anywhere. I've heard that in edibles. I saw, I, I've read that once. It wasn't like a, I don't think it's a thing thing, but I did read that one time. But it's like, yo, that's why you can't teach people. There's no right way to do the wrong thing. Like, I'm not going to ever be sitting around here telling people to use drugs. Yo. I'm on my Nancy Reagan shit. Just say no, bro. Just say no. And if you are, if you do have an addiction, man, get that let's get that person some help. You know what I mean? Like, mm. America got so much resources and, you know, so much dollars that they allocate to certain things. Allocate that to people who have addiction. Addiction is a disease. Yeah, mm. we, we and we should treat that. it as such, you we know? We only get that, but still, if they, somebody want to kill you, hopefully nobody just wanted to kill them because they could put rat poison in their food and go just as fast. You know what I'm saying? Put some antifreeze in there to drink. Yeah. So they was well, one of them dead. That's the, that's the tricky thing about the drug You understood dealership. that? Explain it. I understand me. what you're saying. It's like, if you just want to kill somebody, <laughs> yeah, just give them the you want to kill, kill them. them. Like, you but don't that, have to put them in fit. No, you don't have to do it in the Coke. Well, that's the weird thing about the Coke, because I was like, oh, yeah, they're just going to go get the drug dealers. And then I thought, the drug dealer, the last thing a drug dealer wants is people to die on his shit. Yeah. Because it's then they not gonna, shit. exactly it's gonna Duh. fuck up the business. So so he's like shit. Yeah. Someone laced my shit. So the drug dealer, believe me, he don't want to fuck up his business. The bro. last his business. thing I get what you're saying. It's, yo, yo, but it's not like they're advertising the it. store. Exactly. If somebody throws up about? after eating a sandwich, yeah, nobody's gonna come eat the sandwich. It's the same thing. They don't know where the they worst. got it from. Bro, that's what we trying people, to say. People are going to know who they got it from. Bro. Maybe, you know exactly, maybe not. No, the last you know, phone call in the phone. And that person know who he got it from. Yeah, you know who he got maybe, it from. And you're going to have to keep on snitching. No, and the sure. higher you snitch up, the more dangerous it gets for everybody. Yeah, and if you got that, it's only one or two people. You're and, not. It's not 30 and people And it's not going, like they have bro. one connect. They might be going, just like people go buy weed from a bunch of different it's people. still, at the end of the day, it came from that farm, that person, and you. Or it came from you in that farm. It's not thirty people. I don't in that think line. you can trace no cocaine back, bro. Okay, bro, I'm not, not saying you can't, but I don't not see that, it. It's, it's no. And and what if what if, if the I what if the dealer wasn't the person cutting it? What if That's the dealer the, bought it from somebody? That's what we're saying. So who's the, who's to blame? You can't. I, if 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 I if uh, if McDonald's serves you a uh, 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 I don't fucking know a burger that got a roach in it. But it didn't come from that McDonald's. Like the patty was already frozen in from wherever they get the patties. Mm. Is McDonald's to blame? Well, McDonald's you, always you, that's has you start to take at. responsibility. You know what I mean? Because they're yeah. the vendor. But in the drug game, I was so I was asking Al. Al said, like, as the as a dealer, it's your responsibility to know if your shit is laced or not. Period. So maybe it should be the person, even if he didn't know his shit was in there. It's his responsibility to oh, know he get something. Locked up. Well, it should be the vendor's responsibility, especially now if they're gonna be getting charged with murder and all types Bro, of stuff. Bro, if I got shit. if I get somebody who's waxed and they got fentanyl in the shit, I know exactly where I got this shit from. You gonna tell on them? You gonna tell them you're descriptive? Do you, th- I'm, you think I'm gonna sit there, and motherfucker? I'm legit, so I'm telling them my descriptive. There you go. Man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, talking baby. About. Yo, I got That's it for this company about. right here. That's what I'm this talking shit about. Happened. But that wouldn't happen. I wouldn't. But that person wouldn't even fuck up their money flow. It's all shit. All this at the end of the day is still a business. A drug dealer is still a business. Yeah. I, 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 I bet you, I bet you they already business. found a dude that put the fentanyl in it. I guarantee you by now, the drug, I, the, not the dealer the who police. gave it to them, but the not even the police. Yeah. If I'm the I'm the dealer. Like if I'm a dealer like, and I'm, I'm giving them my, my shit, plug. 
I, if I'm I give you how much money these motherfuckers come every time they come, I'm exactly. mad as hell at you. I'm so it's like if you if you if you kill my money, bro, right? You gave it to somebody else who got who put fentanyl in it, who gave it to that guy who's dealing, or that guy put it. You got to have a conversation with that guy, like, yo, you are fucking up the business for everybody. For everybody. Yeah. Now nobody want to do dope yeah, in this whole this, town. This now. shit is happening though. Like they if had you're a, a waiter that don't wash their hands at the restaurant, they get fired, right? Yes, one star. This shit is <laughs> happening, bro. I just read. Hold on, me. This is this shit I read in Houston. So I mean, I get what y'all saying, but fentanyl clearly is big business because what was this bus? I but just what saw? the hell? What the it's fentanyl big business? Do? It's big business where they make it. You know where they make this, it, right? This was Houston two days ago. Shipment headed to Houston had enough fentanyl to kill hundreds of thousands of people. Whoa. It had the potential to overdose or kill 1.4 million people. 2.85 kilos of fentanyl hidden in wooden boxes. And they what say it, it goes, it it goes for four, it goes for four thousand dollars a kilo. But what is it though? It's, it's a synthetic to opioid. They say it's similar to morphine, but a hundred times more potent. So uh, it's heroin. So it's, over, so, so it's, it's synthetic so, heroin. So all they're doing is overdosing. It's not like if you it's, get in your your body, you would die. It's they overdosing. OD. It's used. Okay. It's but used little, legally. A little speck. You fuck is enough to overdose. Yeah. But if it's in a bag of coke, you thinking, oh, I could just snort this coke. It's no big deal. Right to the brain. Boom. Done. And it says use. It's used legally to treat severe pain. But the DEA like says cancer patients and that kind of that's stuff. right. Yeah, but drug, DEA says drug traffickers like it because it's cheap. It's four thousand dollars a kilo, and they mix wow. it with other drugs to increase wow. the potency. Wow! So even though I understand what y'all saying, but clearly that shit is already wow. big business. So somebody don't give a fuck. I wonder who I makes mean, the most of the fentanyl in the world. Can fuck. we look that up? Who makes most of the fentanyl in the world? I have mm. no idea. Where, where did um, Denzel of, Washington go? Can anybody look that up? Who makes most oh, of the no. fentanyl in the world? I feel the way the way Andrew see Andrew's this, yeah. Andrew's doing. No, no. Before you do that, let me say this. <laughs> Andrew's doing what we do with our girls and we're trying to surprise them. He's leading us. I feel like we're going to China. I feel like we're going. I, where, where did based off what he was saying, and is this payback? Is this payback for the opium wars that you know Great Britain put them through? I mean, like you know how many people in China were who, who put to crack opium? out here? Who put crack out here? Wow, where crack came from? Yep. Who is, uh, these are these Alex are, just scroll back well, up, Alex. I was right there. Alex CIA. just googled who is who makes China most is of the fentanyl supplier of fentanyl in the United States. That's right. It's right there on Google. It's also the main supplier to Canada and Mexico, and also the fentanyl gets used to lace gets laced in drugs in can in Mexico and then they get yeah, sent so cartels the in the latter usually this in is, the United States you could make an argument that okay, this is okay uh, okay Andrew yeah. <laughs> all right yeah. drug warfare that's a nice fun fact <laughs> let's leave it at that <laughs> all right okay we, I think we got to edit free send podcast send the boys out there <laughs> send the motherfucking boys okay where, where's Chris when you need us? Chris by the dogs early Lines. What do you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. I can't wait for Chris to hear this because I want to hear yeah. how Chris. Might not Chris, be wrong. Oh, he's wrong. Here. That's what he's I said. Here. That's what I was thinking, Chris. I'm like, there's nothing wrong. Yo, Chris is Taiwan, bro. I recognize Taiwan, Chris. <laughs> Chris, I recognize Taiwan. I know Hollywood too pussy, right? I know these watch companies too pussy. I recognize Taiwan. Oh, we thank you. Yo, that's right. I've got Chinese landlords. They're about to kick his ass out. <laughs> oh, shit. You not recognize WTF me. <laughs> well, it's a good time to plug it. Uh, this this show is brought to you by WTF WTFB Media Studios. Studios. We're recording. Thank you. Oh. In Chinatown, New York. Come on, let's pay some so, bills and come back so, and do so, some so, asking so. idiot, man. Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> All right. I'm a wild boy, son. He's a wild boy. A wild boy. Wild boy. Wild boy. Uh, salute to Upstart. Are you carrying a credit yeah, card balance? Every time Wax walks through the studio, I think he's just going to walk through the whole fucking table. <laughs> and it's just like Nutty <laughs> Professor through the fucking picnic table. <laughs> Oh, salute to Upstart, man. Are you carrying a credit card balance month after month? You're not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple 
fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstar looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash idiots. And listen, the NFL season starts tonight. Ooh. My Dallas Cowboys. <clears throat> oh against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, okay, the defending Super Bowl champions, okay, my Dallas Cowboys, the, war, the road to our Super Bowl starts tonight. Respect. Okay, and since football is here, get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, and with the NFL back, DraftKings is giving new customers $200 in free bets instantly when you bet $1 or more on any football game. Listen up because you don't want to miss this. Head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and place a bet of $1 or more on any week. One game to receive $200 in free bets instantly. If Sportsbook is not yet available in your state, DraftKings still has huge cash prizes up for grabs all season long with their daily fantasy contest. And for week one, DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot. Not that kind of shot. At a $1 million top prize. Nothing at, now that would do it. People would go out there and get that vax if you was giving out a million dollars a shot. Nothing adds to the excitement of watching a game quite like having a free shot at a million dollar top prize. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code IDIOTS to receive $200 in free bets when you place a $1 bet on any football game and get a free shot at a million top prize with your first deposit. Okay, that's promo code IDIOTS for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Let's get back to the show. Let's do some asking idiots. Listen, though, for real, man. Thank you, man. Thank you to everybody that listens to Brilliant Idiots on the regular. Bless Bully and the Beast on the regular. Bless Flagrant bless 2 bless on the regular. We really, really do appreciate right, y'all. That's why we really, we, we don't like missing weeks of the podcast. You know, everybody's busy. Everybody's doing different things. But you know, we come together to do this because, you know, I hope in like another year we can do the garden. A brilliant oh, yeah. idiot's live podcast. Oh, yeah. That'd be fire. At the garden. I think That'd I think fire. I think a year from now, I think we have our way to do that, bro. That'd be fire. I really do. I really do. I'm not mad at it. I think so. Early. Can we do asking the idiots, Taylor? We just talked about being on a time crunch. And here you go. They, oh, they on Reddit? Uh, oh, that's an Ask an Idiot thread on Reddit? Okay. What we got? Do your bet. Oh, okay. Oh, did this you see a... uh, uh, Shang-Chi, the new Marvel movie? No, I haven't Alex seen it. Alex said it's the, one of the best that he's... Phenomenal. Seen. You're only saying that because no, Chinese no, no, people no, no. own this building. <laughs> Yo, ready? <laughs> Banned from China. <laughs> Why? They won't allow it in China. Correct. Yeah. Shang-Chi? Yeah. Not why? Sure, not sure why, but... They made the movie for China. China. I know. They made it thinking they were going to get part of that money. You can't say that that loud out here. You can say no, China. <laughs> this guy is crazy. I appreciate it, but... No. <laughs> no, I want I, 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 I to yeah, see it. I haven't, got the, I haven't gotten a chance to see it yet. It's the best movie since Endgame. Wow. I mean, there's only been two movies. No, but including the shows and all the stuff that came out. <laughs> no, like, no. Loki was kind of fire. better than Loki. Really? Yeah, it's good. What if it's fire it's too, bro? What? what if it's fire? What if it's yeah. fire? What's what if? It's the cartoon because you know at the end of Loki they killed uh uh what, the King the Conqueror basically, yeah. and so it created the multiverse. Mm -hmm. And so it's like what if just shows you all of these different things that happen in different Marvel multiverses. So it's it's this random shit. Like it's really it's really it really good. Yeah, it's a cartoon. It's on Disney Plus right oh. now. Oh, it's a cartoon. Yeah, it's a cartoon. <laughs> but Shang Chi's fire like that. Yeah. Okay, for nah, here. <laughs> like probably some of the best action scenes I've seen. That I heard. Yeah, it's how amazing. was Aquafina? Uh, she's a, okay. Is she a superhero? Nah. Okay, okay. Ronnie Chang she's, killed it. Ronnie Chang. Shout out to my man yeah. Ronnie Chang. Yeah. Hilarious yeah. comedian. I gotta see it. I want to nah, see it. It's great. I want to see it. And it's so, it's so interesting because I don't know anything about Shang Chi. Even when I opened up my encyclopedia, my Marvel encyclopedia, he's got like a small paragraph. Yeah. 
Like, mm. like I don't know nothing about Shang-Chi. Never seen him in a comic book. Nothing. I know he was supposed to be an Avenger. He was an Avenger at one point. Mm -hmm. mm. So, all right. <laughs> This is a good question. Do your better halves watch the podcast? I know Carla watches Hell yours. Hell yeah. Nah, my I got daughter. in trouble last time. I asked her not to. I don't want... I get in trouble all the time. Yeah. Never ask your girl not to do something. She's going to do it. She yeah. want to know why you don't want... I don't even say nothing. I just don't... My feeling is like I want to create freely. Like I want to say the fucked up shit and then... Without being And just, it's just a show. Yeah. Say what? And it's just a show. It's just a show. Absolutely. But for me, in my head, to have that clarity, it's just like, yo, I just want to say the wildest shit. I don't want to be thinking like, oh my God, how could that be interpreted? What could she think? Da, da, da. Uh, it's so, not, not, it's it's not even me. It's y'all anyway. So it's not even me. It's yeah, exactly. me you've done You've done nothing wrong. Scroll up, Taylor. I like this. What's that question? Charlemagne, this is from Antonio Carabello. Charlemagne, you have always been upfront about certain things sexually, like having a finger up your butt. My question wow. to you is that what year after getting the first finger up your butt did you I mean, transition into two and then three fingers? Fuck. <laughs> May I remind you, the butthole is very expendable. So one finger expandable. for the last... Expandable? He meant to, they oh, meant to say, yeah. Oh, the butthole is very expendable. For so for one finger for the last 15 years plus, it's not going to be the same today. <laughs> so don't even try. <laughs> your ass inflation is funny as fuck, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious, he's man. Think, he's trying to say it gets swollen? Uh, no, nah, he says that it's going to be more open. Like that one finger that he used to take back the yeah. day. Is also, the elastic band is gone. How yeah. much is one finger worth now 15 years later is what yeah. she's saying. Yeah, so what is Are it? Are he saying? So what is it? I don't know. How I long was done. it before you had two and three? I'm too old for that shit now. How, how long it. was it before you, you had two like and three? You like that when you are young. I never did two and three. Never once? Mm -mm. Never? Nah. <laughs> one little right before the knuckle. Nope. Slow <laughs> something. And wax? Trying too much. You need to try crack. What? That's like trying crack. That's exactly what, what it is. That's why she put her yeah, finger in. You want to try that little crack one. Try that little try this crack. Wow. <laughs> How you many say? would you have in there? If yeah. you could if if for your dream. What would your dream be? How My many? Dream date? No. How many fingers would you want your butt <laughs> your, for your dream? In your wildest dreams. What would in you want? In my want? wildest dream. For your wildest dreams. Probably none. But in your, this is not really going to happen. This is just your fantasy, your wildest dream. It's not hyper, it's hyperfingerical. It's not real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how many would I would want to put into a girl? I wouldn't even want to put my finger in her butt. It's just like doodle. No, out. your butt. Your butt. She puts Why like would I what? put my finger in my butt? Doodle's still going to come out. Okay, a half a million or a date with Jay-Z. Which one you want? A date. <laughs> date. Why would I have a date with a guy? By the way, that the is man. a date. Salute to all you guys out there. Because I saw a title tweet out. Uh, so take the 500,000, which so you should have known stupid. from the start. Anybody who argues that Jay-Z is wrong about whether or not you should take the money to go out with him, just say you want a date with Beyonce's husband, bro. Yeah. Straight up. It's, about fine, a you gotta, it's all about what you really call it. Like, what's a date? You know, nobody cuddle up, nobody hand, hand, hold their hands or nothing like that. Huh? That's not a date. If you're just having a meeting with the person, it's a meeting, it's not a date. Well, it's a date that a maybe date, it means you got to kiss plans. after. Yeah. A lot of things happen when you kind of have a date. A lot of dates don't end in but kissing. I'm, yeah, but I'm no saying way. if you, if you, if you, if you want, wasn't a date. If you want dinner with Jay Z <laughs> over the 500,000, even after Jay Z tells you to take the 500,000, you still want that dinner. You just, you really just want to go out with Blue's daddy. Yo. Yeah, you want to go out with Blue's like, daddy. Like, stop. <laughs> Come on. Let me throw a scenario out. We were discussing this on Flagrant. What if you have a business idea that you would want Jay to partner with and that was the only opportunity that you could? I'm taking that half a million dollars in capital and I'm going to launch business. my business and I'm going to get yeah, my business popping. So hopefully one uh -huh. day Hove or somebody in Rock Nation will me. see my business uh -huh. and then want to partner with me. Good there call. you go. Jay does yeah. it all the time. He partners That's with what people. Fuck you supposed to do. That's a good call. Give, give me another question, Taylor. I know. I know. I want to take one more. Let me get one more. And then I'm out. One more and then we out. I'm glad, for you. I'm glad you're keeping me on point, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you, big dog. Big dog. Big John. Big John. Big Philly John. <laughs> big Philly John. Damn, as soon as you go on Reddit, all you see is Taylor, honest critique of Taylor. It's like, what they be on there saying about you, Taylor? They miss you, huh? <laughs> let's see. Let's pick one good one. What's one good one? Uh, scroll back up what's that right there my free speech is never free is something that CTG likes to say a lot but there's some episodes of parts that were never published 
And that and what was the general reason for that? Don't you worry about it, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we'll be breaking in the WTF studios trying to find the lost files. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Okay. Don't worry about it. Get out the All way. right. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Those episodes taught us how uh, not free speech is. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the truth, though. Spe- free speech is not free. I don't know why people don't Nothing's understand that. Free at the end of There's the day. nothing free. There's nothing. a price to everything. There's a price to every word that comes out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Everything you fuck. do. Everything. everything. Mm-hmm. Even you eat wrong. There's a price. There's a price out. to it. All yeah. right. That's it, guys. I think we got it. God bless. Um, yes, as course. always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. Peace. 